Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies, this week's Trade of the Week video. This is the week ending 12-18 of 2022. This will be the last Trade of the Week video for 2022. This happened on the 15th, which was a Thursday. It was chewy. The strategy was based on a daily and 60-minute major support area entry on a 60-minute DBS of the be the tail type of entry. Management advance and reward risk 1.6 to 1. Before we look at that trade, let's discuss what's available to DTS members this week for free. We have an educational event on Wednesday. It's the last one of the year, of course, 10 must-dos to improve your trading for next year. This would be a good one. Don't miss it. It'll be Wednesday, the 21st at 5 o'clock. You can read the slide if you like. Here's the daily chart for Chewy, and you can see what's going to happen here. We're going to open up there, and this is going to be the third big red bar down. And we're going to land right in this general area here, a daily major support area. Now let me show you the 60 minute chart next and then I'll give you a few comments. We're going to open right there and we're going to kind of free fall down. There is that daily major support area right in there. Why did I pick this trade? Well, number one, it was interesting because this was a long on a very bearish day. I actually had four shorts this morning, which is an unusually high number of trades for me. And I was basically done. And I came back to check on the management of some of these trades around 11 o'clock, 11.15 or something. And I saw Chewy. And Chewy was an example of one of those trades where the phrase is, I could not stand the thought of not taking it. This was kind of the cherry on the Sunday. All the short trades worked out that day. And then I came back with a long trade that worked as well. I also want to point out that sometimes going counter market can have an advantage is very tricky. But the advantage is that it sticks out. Now, naturally, if the market continues to drop too much or if your stock gets dragged down, that's one issue. But if you see a bottom in the market and you see stocks sticking out bullishly, that can be an interesting concept because you have that uniqueness. If you continue to short in a falling market, some of those shorts are going to come back on you and it doesn't quite have the odds. It's another tool in your bag of tricks, if you will, but this was an example of that. I also want to point out that I did take two, two shots at this. The first one broke even, basically. It, it lost just pennies. And the second one then was uh, kind of a little home run you're seeing right here. I'll show you where those were. Next chart here will show you the entries a little bit better. This is the five-minute chart. And the first time, I did try this right in here on this first dip down here somewhere around 10 o'clock. It was reversal time. It did go to good bounce. It got in a good enough bounce that I ended up breaking even on this, basically and then redid it here when I came back for lunch. And this was the second entry in here, right around 11.15 or so, right in here. Boom, there was the entry. It was entry over 39.90, stop under 39.30. And then you can see it took a while, but the stock made it all the way up to there. I was not sitting here watching it during that period of time. I was gone. I probably would have never got it here. I probably would have taken it off the table somewhere sooner. I just happened to come back somewhere in this area when it was rallying and clipped off a target there for half and the target two is simply end of the day it closes a little bit higher than where it was at the first target not a big deal i also want to show you something that may confuse some of you a little bit on the one minute chart this is of course at 11:20 in the afternoon so you may say well, what's the one minute chart even doing on the screen well i kind of perfect my entries on this i don't trade a one minute chart i'm not a scalper type trader but nevertheless entries and exits are perfected as much as you can on whatever time frame you need to so my entry actually came right there. That's where it was over 39.90, stop 39.30. Why there? Well, for all I knew, this green bar could have taken off and that could have been the low and it would have been gone. So by using a different variety of entries that I do, I was able to get in in case it took off and yet easily survive the drop that it had through here. And somewhere along the way, I raised the stop and then it took off and uh, came back later and took a target on it. So entry, stop, and of course, on this chart, the targets are off the chart completely because this chart ends about 12.30 on a one-minute chart. Part of what helped this also was the fact that the market had kind of bottomed. It had dropped all day, but didn't go any lower, and then a little pop at the end of the day in the market drove Chewy up right away. Chewy was waiting to go higher, and as soon as the market allowed it to, it had that nice little rally through here. So that's one of the things about trading counter market. If you do find that bottom in the market, you don't trade the bottom because you're trading a downtrend, but you trade a stock that either has some superior strength or technical setup or is in an uptrend already. If you like trades like this, come join us in the DTS trading room. Consider even spending a week in there on a trial can give you a lot of education about how a professional trader handles the day, 
whether you trade long-term, short-term, it can give you some great insights. So come join us. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody, and have a great next year trading in 2023.